historic day here with TrackMan being implemented here at New Britain Stadium. A lot of out-of-town markets are here. CBC is here out of Canada. The New York Times is here. All here to see this guy. The umpire, the masked man behind the plate. There's a saying in baseball, the best umpire is the one you never notice. Except today, all eyes are on Tim Rosso. You see, despite appearances, Tim is not calling the shots today. A computer is doing it for him. It's called TrackMan, and as you'll hear from the league's commissioner, Rick White, it's pretty precise. TrackMan itself uses a Doppler radar system where they have three lasers fixed on a point, in this case, its own plate. As a ball crosses the plate, that communication then transmits to the umpire on the field where he hears the word strike or the word ball and then he signals that. It delivers a standardized product and the consistency from umpire to umpire, day to day, inning to inning, is something that really does need improvement. It's botched calls like this TrackMan is trying to prevent. Take a look at that pitch again. And as you can see, the technology to accurately call a pitch already exists. You see it on TV every day, and they even use it to train umpires. But replacing them with it, that's new. And according to Mark Williams, sorely needed. He's a professor at Boston University with a keen interest in baseball. How consistent are umpires? Well, it's, it's interesting. Looking at the data, we, we looked at over 4 million pitches over 11 seasons, starting in 2008 through 2018. And what we found is umpires are consistently inconsistent. Here's what he's talking about. Data, direct from Major League Baseball. And you can see how detailed it is. On this day, this pitcher threw a sinker in the bottom of the first, and the umpire called it a strike. He was wrong. In general, umpires get it wrong almost 10% of the time. That's all pitches. But certain pitches, they get wrong almost 30% of the time. And that's across all umpires in Major League Baseball. So this isn't just one, two, or 10 umpires. This is actually 76 umpires. To understand why they're getting it so wrong, consider the strike zone. So I'm at bat. For a pitch to be a strike, the ball has to cross home plate and come roughly between my knees and my chest. If it's a human umpire watching, that's a judgment call. Why are those calls so hard to make? Well, I think it's obstructed, right? So we have the catcher and we have the umpire behind, we have the batter like yourself. So it's hard to actually see all of the plate. So that's number one. And I think two is some umpires just do a better job of anticipating where the ball is going to move and get into the plate. You know, my argument is not to, you know, fire the umps and hire the technology. It's really to use the technology so umpires can make better decisions. Okay, so we wanted to give you a sense of what the TrackMan system actually sounds like, what the umpire is hearing. But the thing is, it's so proprietary that Major League Baseball actually stepped in at the last second to tell us, no, 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 you can't record that. They did let us listen to it live, though. And so I can tell you what's striking about it is how quickly the computer can make the call. Watch this. Ball. It's actually that fast. We could have put two lights out in center field and had a red light come up when it was a ball and a green light come up when it was a strike. But we felt that took some of the focus and control of the game out of the umpire's hands. So what role does the umpire still have? Well, technically, the umpire is allowed to overrule the system, but even then, only in a really egregious case, like if the ball hits the dirt before crossing home plate. Otherwise, even borderline calls, the umpire is supposed to defer to the computer. And if you ask players, like starting pitcher Devin Burke, that's not a good thing. He wants the umpire to be part of the game. For example, to be able to reward a pitcher with a strike, even if it's a borderline ball. If you can show you an umpire you can consistently hit a spot, they usually give it to you, you know, nine times out of ten. But if you consistently hit a spot that's outside the zone now, you're walking, guys. It's going to be a, a love-hate relationship probably going forward, honestly. And if you want to talk about love-hate relationships, just talk to the fans. You're doubtful. I am doubtful, very much so. I like the old system. I, I'll tell you that again. 
I was happy the way the old system worked. <laughs> Even if there were disagreements on the oh, field? Oh, absolutely. I liked a disagreement once in a while. So when you're watching baseball, myself, like I really get into it. So like I yell at the umpires, <laughs> I yell at the players, and I feel like I lost that one part where I can't yell at the umpire anymore. Because, because he's right all the time. Because oh, yeah. no matter what, he's right. You know, I've been umpiring for 13 years, and this is the first time that I've had to listen to a machine, you know, tell me what to call. Remember Tim Rosso, the umpire? Well, we got to speak with him after his very first TrackMan game, and you can tell he's a bit conflicted. He wants to believe the computer can help him, but... Was it always accurate? For the most part. For you the hesitated part. there. Yeah, for you the know, most part. Yeah, I, you feel don't like, uh, I feel like there was a few pitches. Like you actually disagreed with the call. Yeah, I thought the first pitch in the bottom of the first to Bijan uh, was on the outside corner. He takes the first pitch outside for ball one, the Bs. So I don't think anything is ever going to be perfect. I feel like, you know, baseball is an imperfect game. And if you put science into it to try to make it perfect, I don't think that there'll ever be a finish line, you know? Let me, let me put it a different way. There can only be one best umpire, right? It only, can only be one worst, and there's everybody in between. And the best umpire calling balls and strikes now has been joined, in our case, by 80 other umpires who are also calling accurate balls and strikes. So does it take the game out of their hands? Yes, but I wouldn't say that the game ever should have been in their hands. Now, bear in mind, this is just a pilot project. There's no timeline for Major League Baseball to actually adopt this at all. But most people seem to think it's inevitable. Coming soon, just a question of when. I didn't know if they started it already. Right, not in the Major Leagues. That's what I'm talking oh, about. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, not in the Major Leagues. Yes, when are they going to start in Boston? Yeah, well, they'll see how this After goes. All, okay, <laughs> we'll see how this goes. <laughs> Now, if you're wondering how the rest of the season has gone since, Major League Baseball will present its results tomorrow when the Atlantic League of Professional Baseball has its board meeting. And just wait until next season when they plan to move the pitcher's mound farther back, all part of yet another experiment.